Here we have the all new 2023 GMC Sierra 2500 HD. This one comes in the 84 trim level with the premium plus package in onyx black on jet black with Kalahari accent perforated leather interior. And our powertrain consists of a 6.6 .6 liter Duramax diesel V8 engine. Made it to a 10 speed automatic transmission. And we get new power figures this year, 470 horsepower and 975 pound feet of torque. And excuse me, it's a little filthy, but had to get it as soon as possible. So front end here, we get LED daytime running lights along with LED headlamps. And that's not how the lights flash. That's just how my camera's picking it up. They're just a solid LED there. Looks really cool on the camera though, but the styling here is incredible. Absolutely great job by GMC. And then down here to the wheels, these are gonna be 20s. Again, sorry, they're dirty, but This one probably won't last long here at Chevrolet Buick GMC of Murfreesboro. We get passive keyless entry on the front doors, memory seat controls here, power door lock controls, and then we have our power windows with one touch automatic up and down for the front. And then we can power slide our mirrors there. And then we can also power fold them with this button here. And then we have blind spot monitors as well. Rear window lock and then our power mirror controls we get a premium Bose sound system. Nice storage in the door panel here, two bottle holders. And then we have an electronic parking brake, just push it to engage and hit the brake, press it down to disengage. And then we have our drive modes we can toggle here. We just have normal and off-road. Then we have a tow haul mode here, four wheel drive controls, headlamp controls, and we can adjust the brightness for the gauge cluster, bed lamp. And then our heads up display controls. And if you wanna tilt the steering wheel, you can just pull that there and move it four ways. I'm gonna pop the hood for later. And here's our power driver seat with power lumbar support. But I have that seat up front adjusted for someone of my size. In my driving position, 6'3", longer legs. So let's go ahead and check out the rear seat room. Scoot this out of the way. So legroom back here is pretty good. I like we have seat back pockets on both sides, but about an inch or two between the back of my, between the back of the seat and my kneecaps. And I actually have it a bit far back. I could scoot it up quite a bit. So I'd have even more space. So no surprise there, have about four inches of headroom at least above my head. And then we have our three stage heated outboard seats here. And then rear AC vents, USB-C, USB-A charge port there, two cup holders. And then middle seat, we can fold that down. Cup holders and a little storage pocket in the middle. You can put your phone or something like that. And we do have the premium map lights, dome lights throughout. Like this hanger hook here, probably hang three or four hangers. And you can keep your shirts or outfits hanging back there, no problem. And then grab bar here. But I wanna give another huge shout out to Chevrolet Buick GMC of Murfreesboro for allowing me to review this truck today. I'll leave a link below to it as well as their entire inventory in the description. But here's a quick look at that window sticker. Y'all can take a look, pause wherever, see all the standard features. Sorry, it's a little bright out. That's actually better like that. And then the options over here, of course, the Duramax diesel package is 9490 and then the 84 Premium Plus 5470, you get that preferred package. Power roof for the technology package. And then we have power steps. And then we're right at 88,395 for the sticker price. So not terrible, especially for this new body style. Bed step there, fuel filler. But coming around the back end, I love what they did with the tail lights. They just look so fantastic. Again, they don't flash like that. That's just how the camera picks up LEDs. Gotta love that styling. There's our spare underneath the truck there. But we do get the multi-pro tailgate. So we can fold that down. And then all the way out like that. And then with the bar, we can just step up in here. Then we have additional wiring there. And a 120 volt plug here. And then you can attach your gooseneck if you want to. 
And I'll show you those toe figures here momentarily. But coming around to the front passenger side, we do get another 10-way power driver seat with power lumbar support here. And then two storage bins. There's a top one. Pretty good space for that. And then you have the lockable bottom one. You can pull up there. And then owner's manuals are in here. And then additional storage here on the side. But next we're gonna go ahead and take a look in the engine bay. And there's that 6.6 .6 liter Duramax V8. And now before we hop in the driver's seat, here are the tow figures. So conventional, we're looking at 18,500 pounds, gooseneck, 19,100 pounds. And of course, if you go into different configurations like a dually, dual rear wheel, single cab, you can tow a lot more. I think it's up to 30,000 pounds, you get the right configuration, which will be hard to find that, but Anyways, leather wrap steering wheel here. You can toggle the heat there. Pretty good maneuverability for a heavy duty truck. Nothing out of the ordinary there. Now over here, let me turn this fan speed down. I believe it's a 13.4 inch Google Assistant screen. So we do get AM, FM, XM radio. And we also have Bluetooth audio as well as Apple CarPlay Android Auto compatibility wirelessly. And then we have Amazon Alexa, Google News, podcast, all of that. And then we do have Google Maps. You do have to go, when you first get in the truck, turn on all your location settings and notifications, all of that. And then you're able to use the map. And it's a pretty awesome system, really. Shows you traffic patterns, really easy to zoom in and out and picture is crystal and of course if you having a diesel truck it's easy to find those stations around you and it'll show you what that price is as well and of course this being a 2500 it's nice to be able to have a trailer profile set up if you have a trailer you use for work or whatever you can walk through your steps there and have it set up for that particular trailer and then we have a Wi-Fi hotspot. We do get dual zone automatic climate controls. So you can either use the screen here and you can toggle where the fan speed is and the, where the direction it comes from. Set your auto mode there. Sync, just a really easy system to use. And then you have the same controls and knobs down here with three stage heated cooled seats. And we have a backup camera here, 360 views on the left side. Guidelines follow you as you turn the steering wheel. And then we also have a front camera and then we have curbside views. And then we have a bird's eye view for the front or the back. And we have a tow hitch view there. And then my favorite is this bed view camera. So if you have anything in the back, and you just want to keep an eye, make sure it's not about to fall out or it's not hitting anything, whatever, you're able to do that. And the picture is very good. Home button's over here, and then you have a volume knob, and I like that we can use that, and we have actual buttons there. And then this side here, you can either have your maps up, music up, trailer view up, or just a clock. Now down here, we can toggle our exhaust brake, the lane keep assist system with lane departure, the parking sensors, that tailgate, hazards, traction control, and then downhill brake control. Great storage pocket here if you want to plug in a phone and then have it sitting there, a USB-C, USB-A input. The trailer brake controller is right here, cup holders, and then I like how they put this AT4 emblem here as well. But we have a nice big removable tray. This one has a lock box in it, a USB-C, USB-A input again, a 120 volt three prong plug in there, and then a wireless charging pad and you can just close that and just slide your phone in there. So, great design. 
in terms of storage, in my opinion. And then we do have a power sunroof and we can one touch tilt or slide that open or shut. It does go all the way back. So that's great. There's a view of the back seat and there's that power rear window. And all the controls for that are up there as well as that universal home remote. And then we have our rear camera mirror here. We can flip that on and off. And then heads up display, you zoom in, it's right there. You can change the info on there as well. Now back to the steering wheel, we do have our cruise controls here and I'll show you that on a test drive, the gap adjust for that. And then we have our voice recognition control, Bluetooth controls, and then we can use the scroll bar and these two arrows to go through the gauge cluster in the middle. And we do get that all digital gauge cluster. So pretty sweet setup. And then trackless or radio station presets are here. Volume controls here. And then for the shifter, hit the brake, pull down, reverse, neutral drive. Then you have your low gear and you can manually shift up to that 10th gear there, up and down, so. And then over here, blinkers, windshield wiper fluid, and then we can adjust the speed of the windshield wipers here, automatic high beam toggle, press that button there. And there's the push button start. Finally, here's the key fob with remote start. And now we're gonna take this 2024 2500 HD AT4 out on the road for a quick test drive. So I had a little time with this truck earlier. I had to go put diesel in it. And for some reason, this rides just as good, if not better than the Denali in my opinion, just from the little time I've had with it. Because I drove a Denali a little earlier, I think it was last week. And that ride was pretty good for a heavy duty truck. Of course, they all ride better than they used to now. But this one feels just as plush, if not more so. So, quite impressed there. I just feel like it takes bumps a little bit better than I'm used to. See how it takes this one, I'm gonna slow down a little bit. Yeah, not bad. Give it a little throttle here. Of course, a pretty linear power curve, even though it's a turbo diesel due to this 10 speed automatic. Now I have the adaptive cruise on now. Gonna give it a little bit more power. But all in all, for a heavy duty truck, it's pretty impressive because you have the adaptive cruise as well as the lane keep assist. And it's not a lane centering or super cruise, but it does allow you, it'll kind of ping you back and forth as you get out of the lines and no one's around me. And it vibrates the seat as well when you start getting out of the lines. But the ride down the interstate is actually very nice. It's quite impressive. I should have had the fuel economy set up so we could see that. So cruising here, we're right at 24 miles per gallon. And of course we're on a little bit of a downhill slope. So you can expect, depending on what you have on you, anywhere from probably eight to 18, whether you're towing a full load using a gooseneck or if you're hauling something, all of that helps the fuel economy vary. Several different factors that contribute to that. But all in all, a pretty nice ride coming down the interstate again. And one thing I love about the 2500s in particular, of course the 3500s, you have those trailering mirrors as well but it really helps you with these having such a, a wide stance and kind of have a bigger stature and you're riding up higher, it's a little bit more difficult to see if you're staying in lane or not. And I can see out these bottom mirrors here, the line, so I know if I'm about to come out of the lines or 
just how the truck is tracing. And I love that feature because it just makes it that much easier to maneuver something this massive. Now I haven't driven the new, I haven't driven a Ram 2500 in a couple years. Of course, they haven't had a lot of changes here recently, but the new F250 or F350, those got a bit of a refresh here recently. So I'd like to drive those to compare, but this interior here is fantastic, specifically for a heavy duty truck. And the Denali Ultimate is just incredible. But I will try and get my hands on either a King Ranch or a Lariat F350, F250 and see how that compares to these interiors. But per usual, GM was long overdue to catch up and they pretty much overtook the competition at this point. Like I said, after driving the new 23 Fords, a lot of people say Rams is still the best. Eh, it just kind of depends how you see things. Ram came hard when they redid theirs in, I guess, 18, 19, whenever that was. So it was tough to beat, but GM came hard with this one. And in terms of the price point, you're looking at 89, 90,000 for this AT4, especially if you want an off-road oriented, heavy duty truck, can't go wrong with this one. It has all of the features to match if you're looking for that ultimate off-road 25 3500 and overall pretty easy to maintain in terms of maneuverability if you're just driving empty through the city but all in all again if you're looking for a full-size heavy-duty truck in terms of getting a ram or even a titan xd which i'm going to review here shortly and of course the new F-Series heavy duty trucks. It's definitely still a great option. And this will bring me to the end of my review of the new 2024 GMC 2500 HD AT4.